Uber on its back foot again, this time for paying a hundred grand to hackers to delete stolen data and keep quiet about it. The data breach last year exposed 57 million users of the ride-hailing service. The announcement coming Tuesday from Uber's new CEO, Dara Khosrowshahi, brought in this summer to clean up the company struggling with claims of sexual misconduct and a series of crises that led to the departure of founder Travis Kalanick. In a blog post, Kosha Shai saying, quote, none of this should have happened and I will not make excuses for it. While I can't erase the past, I can commit on behalf of every Uber employee that we will learn from our mistakes. We are changing the way we do business. The new CEO said he had only recently learned of the incident and the two employees who led Uber's response to the incident have left the company as a result. Uber saying that names and drivers license numbers of some 600,000 of the company's U.S. drivers were also downloaded. Users' names, mobile phone numbers and email addresses were also accessed. But outside forensic experts had hired haven't seen any indication that credit card numbers, bank account numbers, social security numbers or dates of birth were downloaded.